Hi everyone and welcome back. My name's Claire, if you don't already know me, I'm now finally a medical student at Swansea University and a digital content creator. My time at Swansea Uni is coming to an end now and this video is going to be about my experience as a digital ambassador, everything that was involved and my uh, the projects I did, projects you can be involved with and my advice on uh, this role if it's something you might be interested in. So just as a bit of a summary as to what this job involves, it's um, a very, very free and creative role, which is um, why I've had so much fun with it. Basically, you're a part of a group of digital student ambassadors and um, you can make uh, various content throughout the year. Um, as I said, it's quite free. So I've been focusing a lot on blogs about life as a medical student, things, uh, things that are involved in that. And my favourite uh, blogs have been my Gower Walk vlogs, which some of you may have seen. I've done quite a few. Um, one of my favourite things about Swansea is exploring the beautiful Gower Peninsula and I've recorded lots of vlogs to show you all my favourite routes and show you what it's all about. I'm going to talk to you now about some skills I think are really useful for this role. When I started as a digital student ambassador, I was actually quite nervous. I'd never really done anything like that before. Um, I think I made one YouTube video until that point and I didn't feel confident and didn't feel like I was someone who was confident on camera, let alone editing vlogs. No one expects you to be a professional at digital content creation. Um, what's really nice about this role is that there's seminars hosted by um, the leaders of the group and it kind of, as you go along starting out making vlogs, you learn so much on the job and as you go through creating more and more you get better and better. So I would say to start out with the only skills you really need are um, to enjoy doing things like this, have a spark of creativity about you and to want to create content for other people to enjoy. Some of the projects I've been involved with throughout my time at Swans University include the Gower walk vlogs, which I've mentioned, things um, about life as a medical student, for example, week in the life of a student on GP practice, um, day in the life on surgery, um, my tips for studying, you know, the admissions process, I've made quite a few um, and it's kind of been up to me to decide what students might find interesting and I think it's worked really well. I've been involved with Instagram reels and short snippets, for example, a 10 second um, video for International Women's Day. I was asked to partake in the National Student Survey in terms of uh, creating the video that goes out to all students to encourage them to participate. As a digital ambassador, you can be involved with certain events that the university is hosting and go and cover them live as either a vlog or an Instagram story. One of the main things I was involved with, which was an absolute highlight of my time as a digital ambassador, was the admissions video last summer. So this was um, a three, three and a half minute video that was sent out during the admissions process. At first I put my name forward and said I'd really like to be involved and then um, I was asked to be one of the main main characters in the video which was so fun. I was really nervous and not sure about my face being um, the front of this campaign but it was so much fun to shoot. It involved going to you know three or four different locations and filming various things that a student would do. So it started for example as a student um, traveling on a train to Swansea and being very um, nervous but excited, um, anticipating the start at Swansea Uni. It showed various other students on at various um, at various popular landmarks of Swansea University. And my favorite scene was shot at uh, Langland Beach, and uh, we basically just had to have fun as students together. We had a little bonfire, we chatted, um, and then at the very end. Um, there was a scene where I had to go in the sea. It was so much fun and seeing seeing all of that content turn out into a wonderful final video was just so satisfying and I'll always relish looking back on that video um, as a fond memory. So finally my advice if you want to be a digital student ambassador is even though you're nervous try to just overcome that and put yourself forward. You don't need to be an expert at the beginning. I definitely was and I learned so much on the job. In fact I would say I developed most of my digital skills on this job. There's so many people in the team to ask for tips and advice as you go along and you don't need to start off by doing big four minute vlogs. You could start off by doing small TikToks for example which are only up to 30 seconds long or um, you know Instagram reels for example. So overall my advice would be just throw yourself in, have fun with it, 